Hey, what's up guys? This is Monroe1v1 and today we are bringing you some Minecraft survival gameplay. Over that gameplay, I'm going to be talking about Stranger Things. So if you're interested in Stranger Things, you have come to the right commentary. And I just watched episode 1 through 3. I wrote a dig, uh, like a, like a review of episode 1 through 2, watched episode 3, and now I'm doing this commentary. So if you haven't done that and you don't want any spoilers, go ahead and click off the video now. If you uh, want to come back and watch it after that, I am more than happy for you to come back and watch it. But here it goes. So when I watched episode 1 through 2, I noticed that Will Byers disappeared. He disappeared into the forest, don't know really much about it. But um, he disappeared into the forest and Eleven shows up. Which is some girl that shows up and starts eating some dude's like uh, uh, food and she like has these mysterious powers where she can close doors and levitate objects so what's wrong with her is a question that we are going to be trying to answer and what is this bad stuff that's happening also where did she come from and what is up with these superpowers there's many questions that we might have for this commentary but i don't have that much time to go over it so I'll come back to those questions at the end of the commentary. Just keep on watching. <clears throat> now at the end of episode 2, which is what I watched when I got up this morning, Barb, or the girl who drove the skinny girl, I guess. This, the I don't know how to describe it. Like, you probably don't know the names of the people at this point if you're watching it with me. So... I would like to say that the girl who drove that one girl over to that guy's house with the, the you know the jock and the girl that likes him and that's trying to screw him she got a ride from her sister or something I don't know maybe it was just a friend but anyways they, they drove over to his house one night and now Barb disappears in episode 2 at the end of it which at this point in the series I'm kinda like this is interesting. This is this is fun to watch. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry for that cough. And it's kind of fun to watch. And I don't know exactly what I, what happened as far as this, but like the mother of the of the lost child thinks that the phone's frying and everything like that. And the, what I thought was the creatures talking to her were um. Will is breathing. Like somehow Will's connect is like talking to her, which is her son, is talking to her through the phone. And that's really interesting. It shows you know it it just shows that Will is trying to send a message from this other universe or our place that Will is at. And that's about it for that episode, for episode one and two. So how do you like it? <clears throat> leave it down in the comment section below I'm more than happy to listen to what y'all have to say also I want to point this out at this point that I have some July 4th videos coming up because I did record on my July 4th holiday I guess you would call it um I did take some videos and I did get some footage but I have to transfer it to my computer so it might take a little bit anyways <coughs> more things that happened in episode 3 this is a kicker at this at the end of episode 3 I was really like this is the point where most people will get hooked into the series this is the hook of the series and really makes you want to watch more at the end of it um, the location of Barb looks almost like regular when she gets sucked into the pool but it's not. It has its post-apocalyptic view. It has lots of filters on the videos. And it's obvious that it's not supposed to be the same place that the real world is. And the house and the pool look like they're in a sim similar place. The question is, is what she killed? And the answer to that is no. Which is later on in the episode. If we assume that the same thing happened to her that happened to the other kid, then the answer is no. The government lab, or whatever that was, was hiding something. And doesn't want to help find Will. Not helping at all. And there's fake tapes. 
And was it really Will found dead in the water? Or is he just really hiding at home? When will Barb be reported missing to the cops? All this in the next video.